Hey guys, Loot Wizard here with another video on Gems of War, and it is day five of Guild Wars. So, just like the other days, we're going to be going over my team, and then we'll be going into our five battles. All right, let's get into it. So, uh, the team that I've had a lot of success with for Blue Day is this. Uh, at the top, I have the Silent Sentinel, which is a troop, a legendary troop that you can get from the Hall of Guardians faction in the Underworld. Now, when this is fully traded, it's actually a really good a tank troop at the at the uh, the first spot because it absorbs both spell and skull damage. So you're going to have a reduction of 25% of spell damage and a 50% reduction of skulls. Um, the final trait is actually really important too, is that it inflicts silence when enemies deal skull damage to the troop, uh, which is really important. And then also that goes really well with its ability. It explodes a column, it gains life, and if any enemy is silenced, enchant all allies. So uh, we're going to be using that to our advantage in the, in the battles to come because we will be using the silence feature to enchant all of our allies and then we'll be able to uh, get more mana that way. Um, in the second spot I have the weapon Doomed Blade. Now you do have to uh, get this weapon in the Doom events and I don't believe this weapon has come around again so you might not have this one uh, and so we will be going over some other blue weapons too. But in short here, really quickly, this weapon is great because it does damage to all enemies. For me, it's doing 31. And then, uh, well, it's doing more than that because of its plus one tempering level. I have it at uh, five, so it'll actually do 36 damage to all enemies. Then it transforms red gems to doom skulls. Uh, so that's really powerful. And the class that I'm using here for this one is the bard class. Uh, and it is fully traded. Uh, which is really the only thing that really matters for this. Um, I do have it level 100 though, which gives it 50% starting mana, and I have Tree of Knowledge, which gains uh, enchant when matching green gems. Those are probably the two most important uh, things in the talents. But uh, the more important things are the traits, because when the Bard class is traded, all yellow allies gain one to all stats at the start of each turn. So... As you can see here, I have three yellow troops, the Silent Sentinel, the Champion of Anu, and Abysnia. Uh, so all of those will be gaining uh, one to all stats every single turn, as long as my hero does not die. Um, in the third spot, we have the Mythic troop, the Champion of Anu. Now, this troop is also pretty powerful. Um, it's a little bit slower as a Mythic troop, but when you put it in the right team, it actually is pretty powerful. Uh, so what it does here is it silences, it stuns, and it drains all mana from an enemy. Then it deals damage to them and all enemies below them. So that's really powerful. Also, uh, when traded, it has a reduction of skull damage by 60%. And then the more important thing that I'm using it for here is all blue allies gain one to all stats at the start of each turn. So now remember... Uh, my Bard class is giving one to all stats to yellow uh, allies. And now Champion of Anu is giving one to all stats to blue allies. So uh, you see I have a mix of yellow and blue here in my team. So uh, essentially uh, Silent Sentinel, Champion of Anu, and Abysnia is all going to be gaining uh, double stats every single turn. Uh, and that's going to boost its, all of their magic as well. Uh, and also, since this is not a yellow troop, this will be gaining a bonus to all stats from uh, the Champion of Anu. Now, in the last spot, I do have this mythic troop, Abysnia, which it explodes all gems of a chosen color, and it will summon an Infernal King, which is a legendary card that deals skull damage. Uh, but here, the, another important thing here at the bottom is that uh, Abysnia trait has uh, all demons gain one attack in life at the start of each turn. Now, Abysnia is the only demon that I have in my setup here, so uh, Abysnia will be uh, buffing itself by one attack and one life, but uh, it also has yellow and blue in its mana color, so it will be taking uh, one to all stats from Champion of Anu and one to all stats from my Bard class. So, 
uh, it will be taking actually three, it will be gaining three attack and three health at the start of every single turn in this setup. Um, and the summon feature on it is really what I'm using it for. Exploding will help for some mana generation, but um, if I lose my first or second uh, cards here, uh, it will be good to summon uh, the Infernal King, because uh, that'll help me survive the battle. Um, and as far as the blue weapons, we'll go over those really quick before we start our battles. So, uh, it, there's not a whole lot of blue weapons that are really strong, except for ones that it takes uh, a while to get. Like the Doom Blade is really powerful, uh, and also Dawnbringer is a really powerful blue day weapon. Uh, however, Dawnbringer takes a million, uh, actually 1.3 million souls to get. And that's uh, something for you to get way later in the game once you have... Uh, the right troops to gain a lot of souls. Now, uh, Orb of Winter is actually a pretty good weapon for Blue Day, and it's not that hard to get. Orb of Winter comes from the Fey class, uh, Frost Mage, and all you need to do is win 250 battles with that class, and then you'll be able to get this weapon, Orb of Winter. And it does quite a bit of damage, and its, its damage is actually boosted by frozen enemies. So if you use it with, like, Queen Mab and other uh, troops that do freeze... Uh, you'll actually get a boost to that damage. So that's a good blue day weapon. Um, also, you have uh, the bronze lock pistol, which can be a good weapon for blue day. And that's not hard to get at all. You get that when you're leveling up. Um, let's see. Jar of Eyes, I think, is, is a really powerful weapon for blue day. Uh, not that it does damage of itself, but it can, every time it's cast, it explodes brown gems, and then it summons a random all-seeing eye troop. So uh, that's going to be really good for surviving uh, uh, these guild war battles. Uh, as, as you know, I won't be using that today, uh, but uh, that's also a really good weapon to use. And that actually is a weapon that comes from the uh, all-seeing eye faction in the underworld. So... Every Tuesday, a faction rotates in the uh, event, and you'll be able to look for that in the shop, and you can buy that for gems. Now, one of the weapons that is almost impossible to get these days, and I don't even remember what event I got it from, is Rope Dart. Uh, so I don't know when this weapon's ever going to come around again, but that weapon is really powerful for Blue Day as well. And I think that's about it for the weapons that are really strong for this day. Uh, let's get right into these battles. All right, let's go. Now, as always, we're going to look for any four or five matches. If we don't see those, then we will uh, go ahead and just do a reg regular match. And right there, that's uh, right there when it did skull damage to me, it got silenced, as you can see up there. There's that little uh, gray sphere at the top right corner of the first enemy troop, and it's silenced. So now, if I cast my Silent Sentinel, it will gain life, 38 life, and then it will uh, enchant all other allies. So here we go. And I did get a, a skull that came down after that explosion. And now I have my Doom Blade up. And I could cast it, but the problem is, is that I don't have really any skulls matching with red gems at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, now we do have uh, a match here with some skulls, and I don't really want black manacles to cast because it could devour one of my troops. So we're going to do this and get rid of that black manacles. Uh, we'll go ahead and match another skull here. And it, it poked me with a skull match, and so now it's silenced. And I could cast it again, but I, almost, I, I have Champion of Anu that's going to be up, so I think I'm just going to... Explode the board here. Get some mana. And we'll go ahead and poke it with a skull. And then we can cast Champion of Anu. And it's dead. Alright. Match one. 
We're all good at the first battle. All right, now we're on to Vanguard. And it's not really a dangerous team here. We just have to watch out for Cedric. Um, and then uh, Bronze Lock Pistol can be dangerous if it gets enough gold. But the real thing, the real danger here is Cedric is going to pull the last enemy to the first position, which will switch my Silent Sentinel for Abysnia, which isn't really a game breaker for me, but it will slow down the battle. Alright, so the first thing we're going to focus on is getting our Silent Sentinel up. And I don't have any blue or yellow, unfortunately, so we're going to have to go with some other color here. Uh, I do have a green, which is going to enchant my uh, uh, Doom Blade, which is good. And it just got silenced, which is awesome. Go ahead and explode this so I can enchant everything. Alright, so now, Cedric is almost uh, able to cast, and so I'm going to go ahead and silence, and oh, I can't, right, because it's, uh, it's got stealthy, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, uh, let's just go ahead and do the top one then, because it'll do damage to all enemies, and we're just going to have to... We're just going to have to survive its uh, pull thing. Ah, nope. We got it because there's all those skulls. It worked out better than I thought. Those doom weapons are really powerful. Alright, we're on to battle three. Ooh. This this team is uh yeah. This weapon is really annoying to fight against, the Guardian Crown, because it cleanses itself, it gains life and armor, then it moves itself to the front. Now he does have it fully upgraded, which uh there is a silence, the my first troop thing in there. So uh and my silent sentinel is not immune to being silenced. So that's gonna be a little tricky. Uh, we also have Spirit Fox to fight against, which starts at full mana, and it also it drains mana from my troop, and then it deals true damage, so that's going to be annoying. Well, let's just do our battle and see how it goes. Oh, right off from the start here, we got lucky with a 5 match of blue. And what I'm hoping to do is silence him before he silences me. So let's see here. What options do I have? I have a purple or uh, purple or red. Well, let's just go red so we can fill up Anu. Hmm, we have your Doom Blade up, but I don't have enough red uh, matching with skulls. Here we go. Now we can silence. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. Now, he silenced and he stunned. So, I want to try to eliminate him as fast as I can. Wow, we got a lot of brown here on the board. Um... Hmm. Let's see. I do have blue here, but I'm not going to... Hmm. Yeah, alright. Let's do that. That took care of Guardian Crown. I'm really happy about taking him out first. 
And we do have a lot of red matching with skulls, so let's go ahead and cast our Doom Blade. And there we go. Match. Yeah. That went really good. I'm happy about that. Well, our, we got two battles left, and those are generally the hardest. We got the champion battle, and if we win that one, then we go on to the paragon. And, uh, yeah, this doesn't really look that hard. The only problem here is that he's got Scorpius along with uh, Magnus, which Magnus is going to poison all enemies when it casts, and then Scorpius uh, will do lethal damage to the last two enemies if they are poisoned. So... Yeah, this actually uh, could be a dangerous team. Hmm. Let's see here. We don't have a lot of blue. We don't, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and let him take that skull. Because he will get silenced, which he just did get silenced, which is great. Um, now I'm going to use that skull. Try to get rid of that as quickly as possible. Alright, now I don't have the first... Uh, enemy silenced, but I'm in a dangerous spot here because I am poisoned now. And next time Scorpius goes up, it's going to be bad news. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cast my uh, my Doom Blade here. There we go. That went actually a lot better than I thought it was going to. Be. All right, we got one battle left. One battle. What kind of team does this Paragon guy have here? Let's see. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. He's using the same weapon I am. With Wrath, with the Possessed King, and with uh, Scylla. All right. Yeah, th I could lose this one. But, Wrath is not immune to silence. And let's see, what uh, class is he using? Okay, so he's using the Archer class for this. I might, because I have a lot of silence going on here with my Sentinel and my Champion of Anu. I might actually win this one, but it will be hard. Oh, and of course he uh, has me entangled right from the beginning of the battle. Uh, let's take a green so I can enchant my Doom Blade. And wow, no blue or yellow, really. Still no blue or yellow match. Hmm. All right, it got silenced. Good. Now, brown. I don't need brown. I guess that's the only option I have. All right, I do have one red match. We could go ahead and cast this get rid of Wrath, and then uh, we'll go ahead and enchant ourselves, we'll let him strike my Sentinel and get silenced, and then, uh, let's see, I could match a Skull, but I think I'm actually going to explode the board here. Ah. 
but I got my Doom Blade up again, and I do have a red match. Plus, I'm doing uh, like 46 damage to all enemies. All right, this is actually going pretty good here. Uh, we just have to get either Champion of Anu up or my Doom Blade, and this is over. Alright, let's... If I can get this cast. Yep. Alright, and see it's going to do 58 damage to them, so just on the damage there alone, it will destroy that troop. Boom. Boom. And there it is, guys. We won five matches out of five. And that's it. All right. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you tomorrow with the next day, day six. Later.